So a lot of people are talking about like uh, autonomous vehicles and cars, right? And so clearly everyone thinks that eventually these things are going to be around. But what do you think? Like how soon do you think that's going to happen? And what are some of the the things you're excited about it and some of the pitfalls that you see coming with this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of people aren't thinking about kind of the implications it's gonna have across society. One of the things I'm most excited about, um, you're gonna have, first off, I think it's true to say humans love traveling no matter what. So if traveling was cheap and you didn't have to exert energy while you traveled, more people would do it, mm -hmm. right? So autonomous vehicles is gonna allow more people to travel, which is gonna bring, it's gonna do something to real estate. I don't know what, but it's gonna do something to real estate because you can travel more frequently. But what's even more important is, I look, I think that, that cars will become the second workplace. Mm. What Starbucks has done and said, we wanna be between work and home, and that's the coffee shop. Well, your car is gonna become that, or whatever you're trans, you know, being transported in. And as someone, that, I mean, you seem to be very obsessed with efficiency, so I, I imagine yeah. you're gonna be full laptop mode. There's gonna, be, there's gonna be webinars going on and car rides, it's gonna be great. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's a really interesting thing. So it's not just adding a safer, more efficient means of self-driving. It's literally creating more time for you to do other things. Yeah, and you know what's most important about that? When you study even like third world countries or just worldwide economy in general and GDP, um, the, the, if you study Ray Dalio's All Weather Fund, for example, it's a great video on YouTube. We'll have booms and busts like 08 and go up and down. But like this up and down kind of concept will kind of center around a curve that generally goes up and to the right. And that curve is the productivity curve. Mm. So we'll constantly have booms and busts. But I think automation, especially in vehicles, is a great example of humans becoming more productive over time. And it's just what are people going to choose to fill that space with when they're in the car and don't have to focus on the road? Are they going to do stuff that's unproductive, like go through their Facebook feed? Are they going to read or do something that's more productive to society? That will be interesting. But somebody's going to win kind of that space, much like you would win newspaper distribution. What do you think? So obviously the, tech, the technology is coming along and it will eventually be inevitable. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think are some of the, the unforeseen hurdles for this new technology to happen? Well, I mean, I think you're always going to have people that may, look, people in power, I always say this, and, and, and I, you know, everyone listening right now that's entering the workforce, if you're watching right now and you have a 25 year old or something like that, this is who you share it with, right? Those people that are just entering the workforce don't understand the people in power above them. Uh, they are motivated to put complexity below them. So it makes it other, it's more difficult for other people to go up the power structure. So that's gonna happen with cars, right? Ford has lobbied like you wouldn't believe to make sure there's complexity with anyone new in the automobile industry so they can preserve their standing. So, so to wrap up on that question, I mean, I think the hard part's going to be is breaking down those, those that complexity of the automobile. Yes, exactly. So you're someone that's always both very frugal with how you you utilize your capital, mm -hmm. you live a very efficient life, uh, lifestyle, but you're very protective and mindful of your time. So do you foresee a future where you individually will own one of these self-driving cars so that you can trick it out to be the perfect mobile office place? Or do you see this more as another service type thing, like an Uber, but this time without human drivers? Yeah, again, going back to productivity, I hate owning like anything. I mean, people that know me know this. I don't like owning like cars, houses, spouses. I don't like owning any of it, right? So um, I think with cars specifically, I will never, uh, want to own a car I mean like as a depreciating asset but you better believe someone's gonna have a system probably uber or one of these companies Lyft will have a system to quickly jump in any car any place and have it drive for you and I'd rather just utilize that system and platform versus owning the thing the hunk of metal myself so that's really interesting so you're talking about this sort of you know utilizing that drive time for more productive things and it mm -hmm. used to be people would listen to like an audio book or radio or now podcast as a yeah. way to sort of doubling down and getting some information productiveness out of the out of the commuter drive or whatever it is in this case with what you're sort of describing where these can be like little mobile office places or other things do you think that like in the future it won't be like oh there's a ford taurus or like a ford escape they're like different sort of economies they'll be like the ford office space versus like the ford mobile gym so you can like choose whether you want to like work out during your in ride the car or like is that like something that you'll think or do you think it what I want to utilize is I want to sort of pick your brain as like someone that pays attention to so many different things uh, just so that when we see something, we can filter it through you and sort of get a 
just to how you're sort of viewing both the present and uh, the future? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the question of will car companies try and brand time in cars when the humans don't have to focus on driving is a really interesting question because again, just like newspapers used to own 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. in the morning with our coffee in our bathrobe, right? Or Facebook tends to own that time in bed when we wake up but we're not out of bed and we end up going through the newsfeed for now. Someone's going to own that time in the car. So look, I frankly, I think Ford, they're too fat, right? They're too fat to try and be that creative to brand time in one of their automobiles. That would be the smart thing to do. I think the people that will own the time in the cars will be the ones that can actually figure out how to own the screens in the car.